Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a first year PhD student at Imperial College and I'm originally from the Scottish Borders. I'm based at the Imperial Clinical Trials Unit at the School of Public Health and my PhD is all about improving clinical trial efficiency through the design and conduct. Within my PhD, I have four different work packages where I intend to look at what kind of um, clinical trials are taking place currently, which improve efficiency, how patients in public feel about this, as this is really one of the central ideas of my PhD, and then finally working on the statistical efficiency, which brings me back into my old role. Coffee secured. Normally I walk into the office or cycle, but today I'm feeling a little bit lazy, so I'm just walking to the train station. I chose to study at Imperial because I previously worked here as a statistician, so I already loved the working environment that I had in my team and throughout the college. And also I just felt like this is a great university to be at, so much great research is coming out of here and I really felt supported when I worked here as staff and I knew that would translate to being a student, so no brainer. One thing about being a PhD student is is extremely self-motivated. I normally look at my calendar, which I'll show you in a second, and it normally looks pretty empty. It was just a couple of meetings, but I tend to fill that up with tasks I want to do, and it gives me a good visual of what I'm working on for the week. So this is next week, for example. I just have a meeting with my line manager or supervisor, and then a stats meeting for the unit I work in, and then a catch up with one of my mentors. But what I typically tend to do is like this week, is fill in and block out time. So I'm working at the moment on my scoping review, which I can see in green. I have this other project I work on with a colleague, which is highlighted in red. Um, and then this is a focused writing day I have with the rest of my colleagues. So today I'm working in the School of Public Health and I normally work between here and Stadium House, which is another building on the White City campus. It's all hot desking and all desks have two monitors, so it's a really great place to work. So one thing I really enjoy about being here at Imperial is the opportunity to get involved in lots of different working groups or societies. I think within my unit there's a good emphasis on being involved in groups, so I'm part of the SOP working group and also a central monitoring one, which kind of aids the clinical trials unit. I also run a journal club and we have seminar sessions. And then within the School of Public Health, there's a PhD student network, which is really good, and also different um, working groups associated with the type of research we do. And then outside of that, there's um, working groups involved in statistics, so I'm part of a health informatics one. I also get to work on a project with one of my colleagues, which is linked to my PhD, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of that. I absolutely love living and studying in London. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Um, in my spare time, you can catch me drinking a lot of coffee, eating food, and just exploring what London has to offer. I often go to the theatre, go to different art shows, and volunteer with my local community nearby. So yeah, I can't, I can't shout about London enough. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and it's given you a little bit of an insight into being a PhD student at Imperial and specifically in the School of Public Health where I am. If you want any more details about becoming a PhD student at Imperial, please visit the website and I hope to see you here in the future.